God shall be upon their head. They shall obtain gladness and joy. Sorrow and mourning shall flee away. I appreciate the name of the Lord because every form of casting down has been banished. I appreciate the name of the Lord this morning. Magnify him. Are you celebrating God? Give him thanks. Give him thanks. Give him thanks. Celebrating because of the privilege to be alive. Magnify the name of the Lord because you are seeing God like never before this morning. I appreciate him. I appreciate him. Give him thanks this morning. Lord, we are faithful this morning. You are faithful. We are grateful this morning because you have sustained us. I appreciate him since the beginning of fasting and prayer. The Lord has been sustaining us. He has been renewing our strength every day. Give him all the glory. His Bible says day unto day. Author a speech. I appreciate the name of the Lord because his word will be coming unto you like never before. I appreciate him because you are seeing God like never before this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ. I appreciate him because this mountain shall be a mountain of transfiguration. In the name of Jesus. It shall be a mountain of transformation in the name of Jesus Christ. Now I'm telling Lord, as I pray this morning, cause me to pray a prayer that must be answered. In the name of Jesus, I will not pray amiss this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ, I will not pray amiss this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ, grant me entrances from above. In the name of Jesus, as your word will be coming this morning, let your word transform my life. Let your word change my life. In the name of Jesus Christ, my Father and my God, clothe me with the garment of glory this morning and let your name be glorified. Glorify in the name of Jesus. Let every questions of my heart let them be answered this morning in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And at my returning, I will return with joy and gladness and with my testimony in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, can you pray your prayer in the Holy Ghost this morning? Alando Soperianda Gabalada, El Nano Sopelina, Anglaro Shemenada, El Otis Sofina Gatosa, Imbrando Shemena Gatosi and Abalada, El Rotane Manato Sofina Gate, Imbrado Shamana. Elondi Sofi Gatana Maya, Eroto Sobredi Katoma Natali, Ela Gobrande Cotosia, Efeneno Nosi, Ibrando Saza. Father, we say thank you this morning. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In Jesus' precious name, we have declared. Shall I put the hands together this morning as we make welcome the priest team? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For the Lord God, omnipotent reigneth. Hallelujah, hallelujah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, for the Lord God, omnipotent reigneth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Sing hallelujah. Hallelujah for the Lord God, omnipotent. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Jesus. 
It is a great thing to serve the Lord. It is a great thing to serve the Lord. It is a great thing to serve the Lord. Walking in the light of God. It is a great thing to serve the Lord. It is a great thing to serve the Lord. It is a great thing to serve the Lord. Serve the Lord. What a privilege we have serving Jesus. It is a great thing to serve. Walking in the light. It is a great thing to serve the Lord. Serving God pays. We serve the Master. The saints, oh, when the saints go marching in, go marching in. Oh, when, when the, the saints, saints go marching in, my God, I will be, I will be in that number. Oh, when the saints go marching in, raise your voice. Oh, when the saints go marching in, oh, when the saints go marching in, Jesus, I will be, I will be in that number. When the saints go marching in, will you be there? Will you be there? When the saints go marching in, my God, I will be, I will be in that number. When the saints go marching in, I say, will you be there? I will be there. When the saints go marching in, my God, I will be. When the saints go marching in, oh, when the saints go where they are crowned, oh, when the saints go where they are crowned, my God, I will be, I will be in that number. When the saints go where they are crowned, oh, when the saints come testify, when the saints come testify, my God, I will be. When the saints go Oh Lord, I want to be in that number. When the saints come testify. Can we put our hands together for Jesus and be seated? Shortly again this morning, we shall be on our feet to pray. And this time we shall be saying, Father, let the reaper angels invade our harvest field gathering record-breaking multitude into this church tomorrow Sunday. Let your amen be louder. Matthew chapter 13, verse 39, the harvest is the end of the world, and the reaper are the angels. Shall we rise this morning, lift our voice unto the Father? Let's pray this prayer with faith in our hearts this morning. Say, Father, let the reaper angels invade our harvest field, gathering record-breaking multitudes into our into this church tomorrow sunday lift your voice and pray that prayer right now father in the name of jesus let the reaper angels invade our harvest field gathering record-breaking multitudes into this church tomorrow sunday let heaven hear your voice right now pray father let the reaper angels invade our harvest field gathering record-breaking multitude into this church tomorrow Sunday in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we call on you this morning in the name of Jesus. Let the reaper angels invade our harvest field 
gathering record-breaking multitude into this church tomorrow Sunday. In the name of Jesus Christ, we ask, in the name of Jesus, let the reaper angels go to the look and cranny of the city, O God, Lagos, altar and its environment, let them gather multitude, record-breaking multitude into this church tomorrow Sunday in the name of Jesus Christ. Let them go everywhere. Let them go everywhere today, bringing in multitude, multitude, gathering record-breaking multitude into this church tomorrow Sunday. Don't matter what this morning, let everyone hear your voice. Let everyone hear your voice this morning. Make it loud to him. Call unto him right now. Oh God, we pray that in the name of Jesus, Father, let the reaper angels invade our harvest field. Oh Lord, gathering record-breaking multitude into this church tomorrow Sunday. Let multitude come from everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. God, that, oh God, a faith tabernacle tomorrow Sunday in the name of Jesus. All road leads to faith tabernacle tomorrow in the name of Jesus. If someone praying this prayer, lift your voice and pray to Jesus right now. Father, let the reaper angels invade our harvest feed gathering record-breaking multitude into this church tomorrow Sunday in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, the harvest is the end of the world and the reapers are the angels. We send them forth right now. We send them forth right now. Oh, Father, in the name of Jesus, release the reaper angels to invade our harvest field, gathering record breaking multitude into this church tomorrow Sunday in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, let them go far and near. Oh God, bring in multitude, multitude, unprecedented multitude. Oh God, let the angels bring them into this church tomorrow Sunday in the name of Jesus Christ. Neta parea ke kaso palia no ze realuta la paraka tali grale ke zozialo ne tarea ba le daro brale katali ye zozia ke tali na no ye paraka tali ayuzo ye pelola le krala la brale no zozia ke tia ye na no pa ye ke tali grale zozieto ye rapala le ako tali grale na zoa re para preda preya in the Holy Ghost ne ta ze ze dia ke la paraka tali ye tali brale na no zozia ke tali na no dia ke tali ye zozia Ra paro ke talia no zuzi ye ke tali grali katalara ye sabralia tira begin to thank him right now begin to celebrate him for the release of the reaper angels to the harvest field. Life Father, we thank you. We bless your name. Wave your hands to him. Celebrate him. He has done it again. Father, we give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. Blessed be your name in Jesus' wonderful name. We have prayed. Please celebrate Jesus this morning and be seated. Very shortly again, we shall rise to prayer. In this segment, we're saying, Father, let the Holy Ghost direct a part of all our new converts and new members to this church tomorrow Sunday. Let's say, believe in Amen. Second Samuel 7 and verse 10. Moreover, I will appoint a place for my people Israel and will plant them that they may dwell in a place of their own and move no more. Please, let's rise as we pray. Say, Father, let the Holy Ghost direct a part of all our new converts and all our new members to this church tomorrow Sunday. Lift up your voice. Uh, we are praying this specific prayer right now. Father, let the Holy Ghost direct a part of all our new converts, every single one of them, and all our new members to this church tomorrow Sunday. Someone lift up your voice. Uh, engage your heart. Engage your faith uh, in this one-line prayer, making this demand our Father. In the name of Jesus, let the Holy Ghost Direct the part of all our new converts, male and female, both the young and the old. Let the Holy Ghost begin to direct their part to this church tomorrow Sunday. In the name of Jesus Christ, lift up your voice. Ensure you are crying out this morning. You are laboring on the prayer altar. Tomorrow Sunday, massive influx of new converts and new members. They are coming from everywhere, all across the entire harvest field. By the power of the Holy Ghost, our Father, let the Holy Ghost direct the part 
of every single new convert and all our new members, bringing them to this church tomorrow Sunday in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Someone lift up your voice. Remember, you are praying for your own new converts as well as all of your invitees and every new member. Our Father, let the Holy Ghost begin to direct the path of every single new convert and every single new member, bringing them to this church tomorrow Sunday. Lift up your voice. Pray some more this morning. You are placing your faith on the line for a massive influx of new converts and new members, the kind we have never seen in all our services. Come tomorrow Sunday, our Father, by the Holy Ghost, let there be a massive influx, massive influx of new converts and new members into this church tomorrow Sunday. Let the Holy Ghost begin to locate them. Let the Holy Ghost begin to direct them to this church tomorrow Sunday. Let this tomorrow Sunday be another act at 44 Sunday. Nearly the entire city will gather here at Faith Tabernacle. Let that be our experience. Lift up your voice. Someone is praying this morning. Be fervent. You are standing strong on the prayer altar, making this demand. Our Father, let the Holy Ghost begin to direct all our new converts and all our new members, every single one of them, bringing them to this church tomorrow Sunday. Massive influx, massive inflow of new converts and new members into Faith Tabernacle tomorrow Sunday. That's our prayer. That's our demand. Uh, lift up your voice. Uh, ensure you are praying. Uh, ensure you are laboring uh, on the prayer altar. This is not a time to look around. Uh, ensure your voice is heard. Uh, ensure your heart is connected. You are placing this demand uh, before the throne room of heaven. Our Father, let the Holy Ghost uh, begin to direct the steps, uh, direct the path uh, of all our new converts. Uh, and all our new members to this church, uh, to this church, come tomorrow Sunday at our prophetic service. Uh, let there be a massive influx of new converts uh, and new members uh, as the Holy Ghost begins to direct them. By the wind of the Holy Ghost, uh, they are coming from everywhere. By the wind of the Holy Ghost, uh, they are coming from everywhere. Lord, uh, we are making this demand. Uh, let the Holy Ghost uh, direct the path of all new converts and new members to this church. Uh, Come tomorrow Sunday in all our services, the first three services, the healing miracle service. Uh, our Father, let the Holy Ghost uh, direct the path of every new convert and every new member. No one is permitted to escape uh, that compelling wind of the Holy Ghost uh, as it begins to draft them into faith tabernacle. Come tomorrow Sunday, lift up your voice. Uh, Pray some more this morning. Don't be tired. Don't be weary. We are laboring for the advancement of the kingdom. By the power of the Holy Ghost, our Father, direct all our new converts and all our new members to this church tomorrow Sunday. Let's appreciate him. He has heard us this morning and he has answered. Our Father, we thank you. In Jesus' matchless name, we have prayed. Give Jesus a big hand. Please be seated. Next, we are saying, Father, continue to send us the rain of your word of eternal life in all our services tomorrow Sunday. It's stronger and better. Amen. John 6, 68. Then Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? Thou hast the words of eternal life. Shall we please rise as we raise our voices this morning saying, Father, Continue to send out the ray of your word of eternal life in all our services tomorrow Sunday from the first to the fourth in the name of Jesus the Christ. So we we'll raise your voice as we engage this morning. We're engaging fervently. We're engaging with the whole of our heart. We are praying with full assurance and audacity of faith demanding for the reign of his word of eternal life in all our services tomorrow Sunday. Someone raise your voice as we make this demand this morning. Ask you of the Lord reign in the time of the latter reign. For the Lord we open up bright clouds 
and give to every grass and the field the showers of rain, our Father. We ask for the rain of your word of eternal life. Let it come in torrents in the first service, the second service, the third service, the healing and miracle service in the name of Jesus the Christ, our Father. Continue to send us the rain of your word of eternal life. Someone raise your voice as we engage this morning. You are praying with passion. You are praying with all intentionality. You are praying with all intensity. You are praying with fervency of spirit, demanding of the rain of his word of eternal life. In the name of Jesus the Christ, your soul searching word, your soul convicting word, your soul converting word, your soul establishing word. In the name of Jesus the Christ, you are praying fervently. You are engaging with the whole of your heart. Let us make this demand on the Father this morning. He said, Many in a neta, he said, Frecatani and the Nede, he wrote us a clitter, your heartbreaking word in the name of Jesus the Christ of Father. Send out the rain of your eighth word of eternal life. He said, Rando, Meneta, Menakatani, your life transforming word, your destiny molding word, your destiny shaping word, your word that answers the questions of life, your word that provides answers to the problems of life. It's Sonia and then the Ketosia. So we'll pray some more. You're praying in the spirit. You're praying in your understanding. You're making a demand on the Father from the depth of your heart. It's Samaro. It's Kepetiana. Assemble all Shanante. It's Kepetiana Natana. Send out the rain of your word of eternal life in all our services tomorrow Sunday. Assemble all Shanante. It's Kepetiana Natana. Assemble Katania. Your word that establishes the souls of men. Your word that answers the the broken questions of our heart, your word that provides solutions. It's some more Italia and the break it in the matter. It's separate Italia. Someone pray some more and get the Holy Ghost as we pray in the spirit right now. It's Sanane, a retana, a capale, a poriada, a cataneca, a separate cateria, the man, mento braca tabarado, a sheble cateria, a ratu zekelo, a sabra gadaba. Yekatania, destiny shaping, destiny molding, your word of restoration. Asunia neto, ese breke tababata, ese manete neko, ekaria de nataya. In the name of Jesus the Christ, our Father, continue to send us the rain of your word of eternal life in all our services tomorrow Sunday. Wave your hands to Him. Let's appreciate Him. Give him all the glory and praise. Our Father, thank you. In Jesus' precious name, we are praying. Please give the Lord a big clap of praise and be seated. Next, we pray in this morning. The same Father will decree heat free movement for all worshippers and perfect other conditions tomorrow, Sunday. Philippians chapter 2 at verse 10 abridged. At the name of Jesus, every knee should bow. Of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth. Let's rise with me this morning as we place this decree. Our Father, in the name of Jesus, will decree his free movement for all worshippers and perfect weather conditions tomorrow Sunday. Make sure God is hearing your voice, for ye shall decree a thing and it shall be established unto you our Father, in the name of Jesus, because of that name, every knee should bow. We decree right now, his free movement for all worshippers in and out of church tomorrow and perfect weather conditions in our services tomorrow Sunday. Our Father, this morning, by the authority in the name of Jesus Christ, we place a decree. It is what we want, we are desiring this morning, that in the name of Jesus there be heat free movement for all worshippers. Let all routes leading to Kinalan be free of traffic in the name of Jesus. Let there be a free flow of traffic. Father, no embarrassment, no harassment as they come to services tomorrow. In the first, the second, the third, 
and even the four special healing service. Our God will declare his free movement for all worshippers and perfect weather conditions tomorrow Sunday. In the name of Jesus, our Father, his free movement. No delay, no harassment, no embarrassment. In the name of Jesus, let every route uh, that lead to Kinalan have a free flow of traffic. In the name of Jesus, we decree right now by the authority in the name of Jesus, each free movement for all worshippers in all routes uh, coming to Kinalan. In the name of Jesus, we declare and decree that the angels of God go clear the road for worshippers coming to Kinalan. In the first service, his free movement. In the second service, his free movement. In the third service, his free movement. Father, that's our decree this morning. That's what we want. That's our desire. That's what we are placing right now. And in the name of Jesus, we decree it so that his free movement become the Lord's and portion of all worshippers. In the name of Jesus, and perfect weather conditions for all our Sunday services. In the name of Jesus, Father, we declare perfect weather conditions, comfortable weather, favorable weather in all our services tomorrow Sunday. No scorching sun, no drop of rain, no contrary wind. Perfect weather conditions. In the name of Jesus, we call for comfortable weather, perfect weather, favorable weather, climate weather, conditions for all tomorrow's services. In the name of Jesus, as the worshipers come in, they stay in church are blessed, and they return, no weather disturbs them, no movement disturbs them. In the name of Jesus, whatever service any worshiper desire to attend, that is what we attend. No hitch on their transportation. In the name of Jesus, our Father this morning, by the authority in the name of Jesus, will decree his free movement for all worshippers from all routes into Kinalan tomorrow Sunday. And perfect weather conditions by the authority in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for perfect weather conditions. Thank you, Father, for his free movement for all worshippers in tomorrow's Sunday services. In the name of Jesus. Elashanda, perfect weather conditions, his free movement for all worshippers. Now lift up your hands. God has heard us. Father, we are grateful. In Jesus' holy name, we are praying. Hands together for Jesus and please be seated. Next we shall rise. And when we do, we shall say, Father, gather great and abiding multitudes into our services tomorrow Sunday and grant every worship and not forget it will counter by your word. Lord, amen. Isaiah 9, 8, the Lord sent a word into Jacob and it had lighted upon Israel. Shall we please rise to our feet, lift our voice, and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, gather great and abide the multitudes into our services tomorrow Sunday, and grant every worship and unforgotten encounter by your word. Our Father and our God, in the name of Jesus, gather great and abide the multitudes into our services tomorrow Sunday, and grant every worship and unforgotten encounter by your word. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, O oh Lord God, our Father, gather great multitudes, gather up by the multitudes into our services tomorrow Sunday. And as you gather them, grant everyone worshiper an unforgettable encounter by your word in the name of Jesus. The reason they are gathering is so that they can be changed, so that they can be transformed, so that they can encounter God. Let that be the experience of every worshiper in all our services tomorrow Sunday. Gather them from everywhere, O oh Lord. 
Gather them from every nook and cranny of the city. Gather them from every locality, every community. Gather them, O oh Lord, from the highways and the edges. Gather unprecedented and abide the multitudes into the services tomorrow. And Lord, give everyone an unforgettable we encounter by your word. A counter that they will live to remember. A counter that they will live to rejoice on. Lord, gather great and abide the multitudes into our services tomorrow Sunday. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, gather everyone who has been ordained uh, to be here tomorrow. No one will be left behind uh, in the name of Jesus. Everyone will make it to church in the name of Jesus and everyone will return with their change of story by a counter with the word. Uh, in the name of Jesus Christ, a prophetic service, everyone will return with their own word in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh God, our Father, we ask this morning that you will guard the great and abide the multitude you into all our services tomorrow Sunday, the first, the second, the third, and the miracle healing service. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh God, uh, gather, greet and abide the multitude uh, into our services tomorrow and grant every worshiper an unforgettable encounter by your will. Lift your voice, let's pray some more, intensify in your prayer, make it loudly, Lake Atosa, Parado, Resia, and Marunta, Father, gather them, bring them, cause them to come from everywhere, from Ota, from Lagos, from Evero, from all places. Lord, gather them in the name of Jesus. Gather them in their hundreds of thousands. Gather them, oh God, uh, beyond that which you have ever known, gather them tomorrow in the name of Jesus. And Lord, do not only gather them, but give everyone an encounter, an encounter to live to remember, an encounter that will change their story forever, an encounter by your word that will set to every unsettled area of their lives, an encounter by your life-transforming word that will change their story in this season forever, in the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord God, gather great and abide the multitudes into our services tomorrow Sunday and in the name of Jesus grant every worshiper an unforgettable encounter by your word le sataru zagudiaba e pantere bazuzeketeke magadazo baraka paria e zano talabrakete dia e lakuzia e terebaria akokozia e kaporatazo e baranda everyone is coming for an encounter with your word you sent a word to Jacob it lighted upon Israel. Jesus, your word will locate everyone tomorrow that will open up the destiny of everyone. In Abosata, Razizo, Rakatabaranda, Leketea, great and abide the multitudes gathering from everywhere into our services tomorrow Sunday. Leke Parosia, and everyone returning with an unforgettable encounter by your word. Lift your hands and give God thanks. Father, we are grateful and blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayer. Please be seated, celebrate Jesus. Praise the Lord. Next, we shall be praying our personal supplication, a time when we have the opportunity to go before the Lord and give expression to our heart desires in prayer. As we do so this morning, let's read from the word of God as our anchor scripture, 1 Samuel chapter 1 and verse 27. 1 Samuel chapter 1, verse 27. Hannah said, For this child I prayed, and the Lord had given me my petition which I asked of him. For this child, specific for this child, I prayed, personal. And the Lord had given me my petition petition personal therefore as we go before the lord this morning personally speaking to him at this moment whatever specific issues you and i ask for shall be delivered unto us just like hannah returned with samuel we shall be returning with our samuel again please rise upon your feet or take any position you know will help you at this time to be specific as you pray to maintain your focus as you pray so you and I can return with our Samuel. Let's go before the Lord right now and take advantage of this deal of the morning.
right now engage the Holy Ghost as we round up our prayer this early morning. Raise your voice to him. Pray the Holy Ghost is our helper. He's available. Nerabo gatayama rubakolia la kasata erama molima koshada katayabo rebloba kosara ana makota pepro baga la raya makoshede ekloba gosete apopa radaya agatata raba. Now begin to give thanks unto God as we thank Him in the Holy Ghost for He that give us thanks in the Spirit do it well. Nekaso tapa radagala bayo makoshedia. Father, we thank you this morning for answered prayers. It is done. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Please take your seat. Put your hand together for the Lord. In this service this morning, it is testimony time. Shall we give the Lord a big, big hand of praise? Please listen to these documented testimonies and God will give you your own in the name of Jesus Christ. Number one, healed of brain tumor via divine encounter. I was diagnosed with a brain tumor and heart disease, and all the drugs and treatments proved abortive. During the 21-day prayer and fasting, I engaged in kingdom advancement prayer heartily and did dry fast. Also, I read a book, Rescued from Destruction, authored by Pastor Mrs. Faith Oedeko. And after one of the services, Bishop David Oedeko and two angels visited me in my dream and removed some things from my head and body. Celebrate Jesus. Now all the symptoms are gone and I return all the glory back to God. The testifier is stellar. Okechuku, you. Let's give Jesus a big hand. Number two, miracle job via kingdom advancement endeavors. When the year began, I trusted God for a miracle job. During the 21 day prayer and fasting, I prayed about my miracle job, but it seemed there was no answer. And thereafter, I decided to shift my prayer focus by engaging radically in kingdom advancement endeavors. In just a week of vigorous engagement, I got a job offer that came with a mouth-watering benefit. Are you celebrating Jesus? And I return all the glory to God. The testifier is blessing a go-go. One more time, let's give Jesus a big hand of praise and rise on your feet. Keep celebrating this faithful God. Clap some more for Jesus. Hallelujah. Shall we lift our hands to heaven, everybody, this morning and let us appreciate and give God the glory First of all, for all of the answers, there is no time that we gather to call on him that he does not hear us and does not answer us. Let's thank him from the depth of our hearts for the answers he has given to us on the altar of prayer. What a time of answers, torrent of answers pouring out in our direction. This is the faithfulness of God. Let's give him the praise. Let's give him the glory. Let's give him the honor. And let's give him the adoration. Lord, you are worthy. All the praise belongs to you. Lord, you are worthy. All the glory belongs to you. Lord, you are worthy. All the honor belongs to you. We don't take your doing for granted. We have come today to appreciate. We have come today to glorify. We have come today to honor and to celebrate your faithfulness. You are worthy of praise. Thank him also for the testimonies that we have just heard. What a good God we serve. What a faithful God we serve. Destroying brain tumor. Turning around that joblessness and giving a miracle job with mouth-watering benefits. Lord, we thank you. This is your doing. We cannot take it for granted. We have come today to appreciate, to celebrate, and to glorify your name. Now begin to ask him for an encounter. There is no time that we gather that he does not speak. Lord, today I must get my own word. 
Lord, this morning I must receive my own encounter. Lord, this morning I must have my own visitation. I will not remain the same. By the encounter of this morning, there must be a change. For we all with open face, as we behold him, we are changed. This morning I must be changed again. I must be changed again. There must be another level of change for me today. Thank you, Father, and blessed be your name. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Lord Jesus, this morning we have come full of gratitude because you have been so good to us. You have been so kind to us. You have been so faithful to us, and we give you all of the glory. For the answers to prayer, we are grateful. For all of the testimonies of your hand at work, we are thankful. And this morning, our eyes are fixed upon you. Lord, that which we do not know, teach us today. Give us light from heaven and let our lives be changed supernaturally. Thank you, Father, for it. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Somebody believe, say loud, amen. amen. Give Jesus a big hand of praise and please be seated in his presence. Praise God. Fortune is my portion in 2024. Congratulations. Amen and amen. All through this week, we have been looking at this line of exhortations that is captioned, praying to get results. Praying to get results. And we have been able to establish in the course of this week that prayer is among others the calling of the believer. Every believer is called to pray. Every believer is called to pray. Our mother in teaching us showed us that from scriptures, that every believer is called to pray. In the book of Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 18, the Bible tells us there, it says, praying always with all prayer. Everyone that is a child of God is ordained to live a life of prayer. Is ordained to live a life of prayer. Not to have a prayer life, but to have their lives as lives of prayer. That is the ordination of every believer. Every child of God is ordained to live a life of prayer. In fact, we discover that what breathing is to physical life is what prayer is to spiritual life. That's why the Bible tells us in the book of Luke chapter 18 and verse 1, it said, men ought always to pray and not to faint. If you hold your breath or they clip your nose and clip your mouth and you cannot breathe for a few moments, the first thing that happens is that you begin to faint. The moment you stop breathing, you start fainting. In the same vein, the moment you stop praying, you start fainting. So our spiritual life can be actually measured by our prayerfulness in life. You discover that one of the vital signs of spiritual vibrancy is prayer fervency. It's one of the measuring sticks. Romans chapter 8. 12 verse 11 and verse 12. The Bible tells us there, it says, not slothful in business, but fervent in spirit serving the Lord. How does that fervency express itself? Rejoicing in hope, patient in tribulation, continuing instant in prayer. So our spiritual vibrancy can be measured among others by our prayer fervency. How fervent our prayer life is, is a measure of how vibrant our spiritual lives are. This is why prayer becomes a non-negotiable subject in the life of any believer. You cannot discount the place of prayer. Prayer is an absolute necessity because it is what expresses genuine spiritual vibrancy. My prayer this morning is that our prayer lives will be injected with new life today. If you believe it, say loud amen. I said if you believe it, say loud amen. 
if you look through scriptures after the Holy Ghost came and the first church was born, the first evidence that we saw among others was the enactment of the platform of prayer. In Acts chapter 2 and verse 42, the Bible says, and the believers continued, 42 please, it says, and they continued steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine. That's the word. And in fellowship, they were attending services. In breaking of bread, they were taking the communion. And in prayers. Those were the four evidences of Christianity at the beginning. When they became believers, one, they were in the world. Two, they were not missing service. Three, they were taking the communion. And four, they were continuing in prayers. Those four vital signs were the evidence of these individuals having spiritual life. It means, therefore, that when prayer dies, spiritual life dies. That is why we said earlier that when a person stops praying, they start dying spiritually. Our spiritual lives can be measured by the vibrancy of our prayer life. But it's important to note that as the redeemed, we are not ordained to pray in frustration. Our prayers are expected to secure heaven's attention. This is so important. So the believer's prayers are ordained for answers. He said in Jeremiah 33 and verse 3, call unto me and I will answer you. Isaiah 45 and verse 29, and verse 29 the Bible tells us there, it says that, I said, I said not to the seed of Jacob, seek me in vain. Isaiah 45 verse 29, please. I said not unto the seed of Jacob, seek me in vain in vain. So according to scriptures, we are made to see clearly that everyone's prayer life, as far as God is concerned, is ordained to secure answers. But we discover that one of the vital forces behind answered prayers is faith. And we have looked at that in the course of this week. Whatsoever thing you desire when you pray, believe that you receive them and you will have them. So, there is a demand for engaging the platform of faith. But this morning, we are going to look at something very important and unique. If you are going to have answers to prayers, what is required? We must refuse to take no for an answer. We must refuse to take no for an answer. Everyone that has an effective prayer life is one who operates at this dimension, refusing to take no for an answer. In the book of Galatians chapter 6 and verse 9, the Bible tells us there, it said, let us not be weary in due season because we will reap it if we faint not. We will reap it. Jesus told us two parables that give us a perfect picture of this. In Luke chapter 18, the Bible tells us beginning from verse 1 to 8, we saw verse 1 earlier. He said, He spake a parable unto them to this end. What is the end? That men ought always to pray and not to faint. But what is the parable? Let's go to verse 2 and take it all the way. He said, There was in a city a judge which feared not God, neither regarded men. He said, But there was also in this city a widow, and she came to him saying, Avenge me of my adversaries. And the Bible says he would not for a while, but after what he said within himself, though I fear not God, nor regard man, he said, yet because this widow troubled me, I will avenge her, lest by her continual coming she weary me. And the Bible says, and the Lord said, hear what this unjust judge says. He said, now shall not God avenge his own elect, which cried to him, what? Day and night. Though he be along with them, he said he will avenge them speedily. So here Jesus gives us this parable of a woman that will not take no. And he said this is the example that we must take as believers. He said the elect of God must be those who cry to him day and night, ceaselessly. The ones who refuse to take no for an answer. Shout hallelujah. Jesus told another parable in the book of Luke chapter 11 from verse 5 all the way down to verse 10. And look at what the Bible says. He said unto them, which of you having a friend that shall go unto him at midnight and say unto him, friend, lend me three loaves. He says, and 
for a friend of mine is come from a journey, and I have nothing to set before him. He said, and he from within will answer and say, trouble me not. The door is now shut. My children are with me in bed. I cannot rise and give thee. He said, I say unto you, though he will not rise and give him because he is his friend, yet because he, of his importunity, he will rise and give him as many as he needeth. He says, and I say unto you, ask, it shall be given. Seek, you shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. For everyone that asketh receiveth, and he that seeketh findeth, and to him that knocketh the door shall be opened. Another version says, keep asking and you receive. That is, refuse to take no for an answer. This is the picture that Jesus is painting to us from scriptures. I remember the story that was told by a man of God. He said his son, when his son was very young, if you promise the son anything and say, okay, go, tomorrow I will give you this, the boy will go and come back and say, daddy, is today, tomorrow? If he says no, he will go and come back again and ask him again, is today, tomorrow? He will go and until you turn that tomorrow to today because he will frustrate you by asking you over and over again, daddy, is today, tomorrow yet? He said, no, it's not tomorrow. You come back again. By the time you do that from morning till night, that tomorrow will become today. He said, okay, take and go because the boy, that is what you call importunity. He won't let you go. He will not let you rest. Shout hallelujah. When you and I engage the altar of prayer with childlike tenacity, we begin to secure unusual answers. You see, when it comes to spiritual things, you cannot begin to conduct yourself with uh, physical maturity. No, there must be a childlike desperation, a childlike tenacity. You know that when you have children, particularly when they are very young and they don't have too much understanding, don't promise them what you don't intend to give them. Because that child, the promise, no matter how incapable you are of doing it, the child will hold on to that promise because his father or his mother said it will be done. In the same vein, when you and I go before God, we must maintain that childlike tenacity concerning every subject we present. Shout hallelujah. Two examples of individuals that had this in scripture. Number one is Jacob. Genesis 32, verse 24 to 20, 28. The Bible says, Jacob was left alone and they wrestled with him a man. And the man said, let me go because the day breaks. The day must not break and meet me here. He said, I will not let you go until you bless me. He touched his tie, the whole of his tie came out. But he kept holding on to him. And he said, listen, now as a prince, you have power with God and power with men, and prevail. Your name will no longer be Jacob. It will now be called Israel. I turn you from a person to a nation on the basis of importunity. I will not let you go until you bless me. The truth is this. You and I have responsibilities. We must ensure that in this season, we don't let go. 21 days are already rolling away. This is the time where you are holding on to God. I won't let you go. I won't let you go. I won't let you go. By the 21st day, it's like the breaking of the day concerning Jacob. I won't let you go. I won't let you go. I won't let you go. As you hold on to him like that, you will see things change supernaturally on your behalf. Somebody believes, say loud, amen. Second example is the example of Elijah. Elijah refused to take no for an answer. He stood there and prayed. 1 Kings chapter 18, verse 40 down to verse 46. He prayed and prayed and prayed until the cloud came and then the rain began to fall. He stood there in prayer, refusing to take no. He sent the servant the first time. Do you see anything? He said, I don't see anything. This prayer is not a waste. I will stay here, God, until I receive a response. You and I must engage the same. But let's take note of this as we conclude this morning. The cheapest highway to securing heaven's attention when it comes to prayer is giving attention to what God demands, the agenda of God. When God's matter becomes first, your matter cannot be last with him. When God's matter becomes first, if we engage that kind of childhood tenacity in what matters to God, then what matters to you will matter to God. 
Therefore, let's take advantage in this season and watch how God dramatically changes our story. Just about a week more left is more than enough time for anybody's story to change. Therefore, I'd like each one of us to be expectant. These 21 days will end with your total transformation. Rise on your feet with me this morning. Lift your hand before the Lord. Lord, I receive grace today. Grace to stand on the altar of prayer, not taking no for an answer, to stand until I get results. I receive grace. Lift your voice and pray that prayer from the depth of your heart. Lord, I receive grace to stand until I get results. Until I get results. Until I get results. Until I get results. No barren effort on the altar of prayer. No barren effort on the altar of prayer. To stand until I get results. Lord, I receive that grace. 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 Lord, I receive that grace to remain fervent, to remain hot in prayer, to remain instant in prayer, to remain consistent in prayer, to remain charged in prayer. My Lord and my God, I receive that grace this morning. Father, thank you for it. And blessed be your name. In Jesus' precious name we have prayed. The grace you have called on God for, that grace answers on your behalf. In the name of Jesus Christ, for you from this time onward, your prayer will secure results. You will get swift responses from heaven. Even way beyond what you ask, God will begin to put into your hand. Remember like God's servant told us, there's a company of those who before they even ask, God answers them. And that's the company of kingdom addicts. Because you and I are registering among that company. Even the things we have not asked in this season will be delivered into our hands. If you believe it, say loud, amen. So shall it be in Jesus' precious name. Now speak to your day and begin to make your declarations. Begin to command the happenings of the day. Begin to make your expectations known for the day. The day is commanded to be blessed. Commanded to be a day of testimonies. Commanded to be a day of encounters. Commanded to be a much a, a, a day to be much remembered. This day is my day. This day is my day. Light strikes from heaven in my direction. Light comes my way in my direction. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, thank you for it. In the precious name of the Lord Jesus, we have prayed. Now the day is declared blessed. For you it will be a day of testimonies. A day to be much remembered in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Everything you have declared today answers on your behalf in the name of Jesus. So shall it be in Jesus' precious name. You believe God, say loud, amen. amen. It is done in Jesus' precious name. Amen and amen. Don't forget, this evening we have our WSF meeting taking place 5 p.m., across all of our various WSF centers to be a glorious time in God's presence in the name of Jesus Christ. Tomorrow, our prophetic service takes place. It shall be explosive. Three services, and then the fourth service is our special healing miracle service. And that takes place here at the youth chapel. All the afflicted will be brought in, and God will touch each one of them. Everyone that comes bound will go loosed. In the name of Jesus Christ, so shall it be. In the name of Jesus. Somebody believe, say loud, amen. amen. Let's share the goodness together. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Peace. Praise God. Fortune is my portion in 2024. Congratulations. Amen and amen. Congratulate somebody as you go. Be blessed.